Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Turn up a new banger, a new exclusivity. You will definitely be notified. So, the former two time Unified Everywhere Champion Anthony Joshua. Has finally given a sincere take on Tyson Fury losing to Odessa oh, Usyk. Joshua seems to be all of us, the boxing fans that didn't want to see Fury become undisputed because we know Fury is a loud mouth guy. You know, I don't want to say you something else. And loud mouth guy that loves to downgrade people. It's very interesting that Joshua sees that. Joshua said, I quote, I'm glad Fury isn't the undisputed champion. He's always said he's an idiot. He's very disrespectful. He has to step on people to make himself feel good. The way he disrespected Usyk, rabbit this and middleweight that is not good for the sport. If I respect you and you respect me, we can leave this spot up and make people think we are two of the most elite fighters in the world. Well, Fury will step on you and make you look like a guy who's just worked out of a pub. Then he goes and gets spanked. He deserves it. Well, what a brilliant statement from a former two-time favorite champion in the world and soon to be a three-time heavyweight champion. Listen, guys. Joshua is spotted right here. I'll tell you right now, of course, some of Fury fanboys will come and say, yeah, Josh, what about, what about the hard boss of Joshua after the, the second uh, Usyk fight when he threw out the belts and stuff like that? Well, you can tell Joshua was frustrated and Joshua also apologized. That is not after Joshua. Joshua was frustrated to lose back to back to the same guy he thought he, he, would, he was going to beat, but... He never disrespected Usyk one day. He never called Usyk a, a rabbit or a middleweight or a, a guy that has nothing like basically uh, 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 towards him, a guy that can't be him, a guy no one born of his, of his mother womb can be him. He didn't, never said that, bro. Joshua usually never disrespect his opponent unless they come at him. For example... Dominic Brazil came right towards Joshua. Brazil was undefeated. He was confident. He thought he had everything to be Joshua. And he, he was, of course, you have to be confident, but he took it to, an, to a different dimension because he was very disrespectful. What happened was Joshua used that hunger in the ring and we all saw what happened. And beat up Don Brazil. Same thing happened to Dillian White. Dillian White was a cocky guy. Um, talked all that smack. Talked about beating Joshua in the in the, in the amateurs, and uh, of course, always like knocking Joshua down and stuff like that. He said all kind of stuff. Joshua kept quiet. Joshua and White don't like each other. But when they met in the ring as a pro. Joshua had to remind why that listen, you are still not on my level. What happened now? Joshua is on top. White is in the dark and might never come out. White is no longer the father he is. He's been I think he's been he's been popped twice. He's popped twice for um for performance and acid drugs. We know that. One he evaded the other one. We know what happened as a kickboxer. I think it was popped as a kickboxer, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to understand where Joshua is coming from, and I'm very happy. I'm glad that Fury is not a disputed champion because this guy would have held every Fury probably would have retired by now and wouldn't give Usyk the rematch. At least Usyk is man enough to give Fury the rematch to say, "Listen, if you feel you beat me the first time, you feel that like you had a chance." Let's do it again. Believe you me, I don't know how motivated Fury will be for this fight because 
there is the, the undisputed uh crown is no is not on the line early fear will fight it will fight for the like uh linear every champion like he always calls himself he will say i'm the linear i'm the linear the man that beat the man you know that beat the man we know who the real fight uh the real champion is now which is Usyk. yeah Usyk is, is not despair anymore but yeah but he's still a guy to beat if fury beats him cool but i don't think fury beats Usyk. Fury, Usyk knows something about Fury now that I can literally work this guy down and I'll beat him. His chin is no longer as sustainable as it was. He, he doesn't have a good chin anymore. He's, he's fragile. Um, he's, not a, he's not as confident as he used to be. And he cannot take a big punch anymore. If, Fury, if Usyk can get a knockdown against Fury... Usyk that literally doesn't Usyk is not known for his power. Usyk is known for his boxing ability. That is, that is what make, made Usyk. He's known for his uh, boxing ability, not for the power. He has a good a, a couple of good knockouts, but he is most is widely known for his boxing ability. That's what he's known for. So, if that guy can literally bully Fury around in the in the ninth round, what do you think Joshua would do to Fury? Yes, you will say, yeah, Usyk beat Joshua. Okay, fair play. But Usyk never scored a knockdown against Joshua. In fact, Uzi was in trouble against Joshua as well at some point. I think he ran 8 or ran 9. Well, Joshua ran 12 in the first fight. Was in trouble as well because he was tired. And he was frustrated with Usyk's, um, like, boxing, uh, boxing style. Usyk boxing style is very different, bro. But it's not unbeatable, though. I think if Usyk stays in division, he'll be beaten by somebody. But I think he's going to move down after the rematch with uh, Fury. But we'll see though. What do you guys make of Anthony Joshua's statement? Basically calling out. Uh, basically calling out Fury at the same time. We oh, thanking God that he's not the undisputed. Because we know the noise pollution. There would have been a lot of noise pollution. You know. And it's very crazy. <laughs> but we'll see what happens now. God bless you. Cheers. Stay tuned.